Andale it is I, El Manico Malta, the luchador of libations. And we're back for another beer review. We have another big one from Goose Island. Came to the NSLC uh, this week. At least it's the first time I've seen it this week. And this is Matilda. We just did Sophie, which was a Belgian-style farmhouse ale or saison. Now we have Matilda, which is apparently just a Belgian-style pale ale. It sits at 7%. So I'm expecting something along the lines of uh, Duval, perhaps. It says, develops in the bottle for up to five years. Contains live yeast. A sediment may form. Brewed and bottled. Goose Island Beer Company. Pale ale re-fermented with Brettanomyces. So, yeah, I'm expecting... Uh, Slightly stronger Duval, perhaps? What was the percentage for Duval? I think it's only six something, or maybe it's eight something. I can't remember which one it is. Um, at any rate, I'm expecting something along those lines. It was bottled May 14th, or actually May 8th of 14. It's a 2014 uh, vintage. As you can see by the little foil top. Okay. All right, let's smoke. I'm sure, Joe D would be. Woo, here we go, bubbling up. Expecting a lot of hit. I should actually use my Duval glass for this, shouldn't I? But, uh, well, maybe not. There is head there, but it's not quite the reaction you get from something from Duval, which just just cakes right up real quick okay so definitely unfiltered it's got this uh, real sunset orange coppery sunset orange sort of look to it definitely unfiltered very hazy nice looks very nice a little bit of a white head there fluffy white head so yeah it's a bit Looks a bit darker than uh, Duval, from what I remember. Probably just because of the the. Uh... Ah, never mind. I was, I was lost in thought there for a minute. So I'll go right to the aroma. Cheers. does have a Belgian funk to it. Uh, the brat does come up. You smell brat, you smell breadiness. Smell a bit of a pear, uh, apple sort of thing going on there. It's got that sort of uh, white wine fruitiness. Although not overly sweet or anything. It's very nice dry, bready, yeasty, fruity smell. Does smell a lot like Duval. I think Duval has more of a citric component going on in it, I seem to recall, than this does. Yeah, smells very good. Um, not, I, don't, I think Duval's probably a bit more complex than this one, but it still smells really, really good. So we'll go right to the taste. Cheers, everybody. You know, it's got all the classic notes of the sort of Duval style Belgian pale ale. Um, uh, this is a, this essentially is a clone of those sorts of beers to a degree. Um, has that intense breadiness, yeasty character. Um, the the bread really comes up. Um, it's got that white wine fruitiness on there. It does not have quite that peppery quality that Duval has, um, and some other beers of that nature have. 
it lacks a bit of the complexity some of those beers have and it doesn't have quite the um doesn't have the carbonation really um the body is let me see here the body does feel fairly medium bodied but it's lacking that carbonation punch and it's lacking a bit of the complexity and just sort of the kick that a, a duval a nice duval has uh that being said, it's not a bad beer. Um, I'd actually be interested in trying this fresh, see, seeing how, you know, this is a year old, essentially, almost. Um, and actually, I'd be interested in seeing how this ages as well. Uh, but it's, it's really good. It's really solid. It's not Duval, and it's not an authentic Belgian ale. Uh, it's a very good try of the coffee, and uh, it works fairly well. It does, but uh, when it's all said and done, I'd rather have a couple bottles of Duval than I would a bottle of this again. But it is definitely worth buying. Uh, if you're a fan of Belgian style ales, you're a fan of Duval, uh, NSLC right now, this and Sophie are both $11.99. You're going to get a 765 milliliter bottle. Pretty good price. Pretty good price. Uh, keep, uh, keep into consideration, compare this to Chimay Blue. I guess would probably be the Chimay Blue or La Trap, which are both upwards of that price now. Chimay Blue is even more expensive. It's like $13 now, something like that, for a bottle, or $7.50. Um, yeah, uh, if you're sort of missing out, you sort of miss Duval, because uh, it's not necessarily in the NSLC anymore. Uh, so if you're, you know, if you're kind of missing some authentic uh, tasting Belgian ales, this would be a good one to go for. But it is not Duval. Uh, again, I'll reiterate that. And uh, but there's not a lot of beers that really are. Let's let's, let's face it. Uh, I'm going to give this a solid four out of five. But that's as far as I'll go with it. Uh, honestly, I like the Sophie better. I gave the Sophie the exact same rating. Uh, but I, I still like it better, and it's probably their, your better choice. A uh, bit better of a smoother drinker than this one is, I guess. A bit more enjoyable, in my opinion. But Matilda's nothing to shake a stick at. So 4 out of 5 from Matilda from Goose Island. Get it while it's hot. Or preferably get it room temperature anyway. Alright guys, we'll see you later. Bye.